simulate something more like what we'd run into in the field, I've cut open kind of a gash here. This is usually what it looks like when someone lacerates their arm or leg in the field, and there's an opening here. And I encourage you to make that when you're practicing your sutures. In this video, we're going to run sutures all the way up and down here. This is a very fast, quick way to close a laceration in the field. It's easiest when you're practicing to start distally or furthest away from you and then sew towards yourself. I'm going to start by putting in a suture and remember I'm going to try to pucker up the skin edges a little bit because I want them everted so that they're forming up and out in this way. That way when the wound contracts as it's healing it'll flatten down and leave less of a scar. Here I'm placing a suture through and I'm going to try it, tie it off with a typical square knot. As I do this, I'm going to try to get the knot to lay down flat. If I can, then there's less likelihood that it will come undone later. This isn't always possible though. And granny knots will work. They just require that you put in quite a few knots to ensure that it doesn't come unraveled. Four is best. In the previous video, we cut both ends. We're not going to do that this time because this is a running suture. I'm going to leave an end there. And now I'm going to stitch it up kind of like you would sew something together. Again, we'll place a suture through. And we'll just continue doing this the entire length of the laceration. It's kind of a crude technique, but it works. And it's expedient. And after a while, you can help pucker up the edges, as it were, by pulling up on the suture material. And this helps keep it tight as you're proceeding down the closure. You try to keep the needle <coughs> equidistant from the incision. All right, we're getting toward the end of our incision here, and we're going to have to tie it. What we do is we put in our last stitch, and we don't pull it all the way through. You can see here that we now have two ends, and you tie these ends just like you tied the suture in the beginning. Like or so. Again, we're using a type of suture material that is really, really hard to tie. Here, you can see I didn't quite get the ends of my suture equidistant from the laceration. And that's okay because in the field, when you do this, especially if you're trying to do it quickly, it's not going to look pretty. You just want to close it quickly so it'll stop bleeding and you can get moving to your bug out location. Simply cut the suture, put a dressing over it, and that would be a running suture using a straight needle.